Welcome back to your Sacred Sexual Awakening and today we're on, we're halfway through, we're number five. Do you like all the different types of uh, scarves I put on to be more like a Sacred Sexual Jedi? So, <laughs> I like the last one. Thanks babes. Yeah. That's for my Burning Man world. Yeah. So this is Shahizus, the intergalactic planetary defender of Tantra <laughs> and she lives on Pornhub. She is a conscious porn star. Conscious porn star, that's a very important part about yeah, it. It's very important. Completely new. Mm, I mean, look at this. I can't stop looking at this picture of her. Yeah. It's amazing. So, number five. We're halfway through. What is it? I live in harmony. Mm. Find world peace through intimacy. No more blaming and shaming between men and women, but transparent communication, authenticity, shared vulnerability and co-creation. So for me, this is very important. Um, I went on a hero's journey last year, leaving my perfect life behind. Again, I've talked about this in my Diaries of a Sacred Sexual Jedi, episode one. Um, and I basically met this woman who told me my human design. And she mm. said, my life purpose is that, to find world peace through intimacy. Mm. So that's a, a big task to take on. But, you know, if I could start the unicorn movement and introduce 15 million people, which is more than the population of Sweden, to Tantra, it's achievable. It's mm. dream big, dream big. So I live in harmony. Mm. I live in peace. I have many, many, mm. many, mm. many beautiful mm. lovers. <laughs> Most of them Swedish. And, <laughs> It's another, I love how Kyrie Shakti's. I love strong, powerful women like my mum. I've got mum tattooed on my back. It's great. My mum's not blonde though. She did look elvish when she was younger. So, um, <laughs> so I live in harmony because I know how to be vulnerable. I know how to speak my, my truth, be transparent in my communication. I live by the five pillars of transparent love, which is trust, truth, communication, um, respect, having healthy boundaries and many other things which I can't remember right now but there's a link below <laughs> to transparent um, love tools, a, a belief system I've made around how to live in harmony with many lovers or just one lover and this is key to have that harmony with your left brain, right brain, heart, head, yeah. sex scenarios of having that harmony within yourself, the masculine, feminine and bringing that harmony, that balance of the left brain, right brain, the dominant side, the receiving side, the submissive side, the, the, the one that's, the, the she, you know, all of the things that all the different cultures say, like in BDSM you have a sub and a dom, yeah. in dance you have a, a lead and a follow, in martial arts when you're training you have like an attack and a defence, in science you have oestrogen, testosterone and left brain, right brain, all in philosophies of um, religion and uh, ways of living have yin and yang, shiva and shakti. So yeah, this exists throughout time, cultures and everything. Mm. The key is that balance, that harmony. When you find that inner harmony, you find that inner balance in the environment you're in, in the community you're in, in the families you surround yourself in. How do you cultivate this inner balance? How do you find this harmony and how are you when it comes to communicating your needs, sharing your vulnerabilities, being authentic with mm. the opposite sex? Mm. How to cultivate it? Mm. Uh, usually, so for me, when I'm in, a, in an entanglement, in a love triangle or experience, and I am feeling like, any sort of thought of, oh, I'm not being heard, or um, I go into this like moment where I kind of, I'm in my head and I'm thinking thoughts and I realize, oh, this is a good moment to check in, to check in with myself, to check in with my lover, to check in with my um, current experience. And um, because usually that's when there's not, like there's a disharmony, there's something that's not balanced. So that requires me to bring out something inside of me to create, that, that peace to create that, um, that harmony, which is both of us, it's this equality. I think of equality because there's this, it's just like you said with male and, and female and the dichotomy of all these things, but to come into hearing 
to being to hearing what is is going on for one for each person and in all the ways so it's coming into my my feminine sometimes by crying you know and being very soft and wanting to be and I'd be vulnerable with that be, because maybe I'm around a very strong dominant man that wants to like really take over me but doesn't know that maybe I need to be I need softness right now I need you to not be the tiger and mm -hmm. and you know and I'm the gazelle I want to I want you to be soft with me can you please create a harmony so noticing and that's also stepping into like the boundaries understanding how to communicate mm -hmm. and um, it's communication like, is the best lubrication <laughs> communication is the best lubrication oh, yeah. I love that it's also in like the um, the consent wheel. Mm. It's same there, like creating harmony, and it's also really good for myself too. If I'm feeling like, oh wow, I've been more submissive, and there's this energy that wants to come out that one. It's also an inner harmony as well mm. to to challenge myself to like, for instance, take taking has been a really chat like a difficult one for me to go into and so um yeah it, it's nice to challenge myself as i'm flipping around in the situations and especially sexual things to maybe be the dominant one if i'm being the submissive and um and eventually what i really want for our world eventually is for us to be already in an alignment and harmony where we don't have to be takers or givers or you know but we are just the balance in ourselves of both where it becomes just this easy effortless flow of equality of mm. love of it, it feels like peace it feels like when you put your two palms together that harmony is this like harmony and our human race can live in that um so this is a good way to begin to practice that mm, beautiful so the tools that I use when it comes to uh, intimacy and sharing our vulnerability is the rules of engagement. So each holding space for each other, ask, asking six questions, which is what is your intentions for this sexual encounter or relationship? We'll use the term relationship for now. What is your intention for this relationship? What are your fears for this relationship? What are your desires for this relationship? Uh, what are your boundaries for this relationship? Do you have any STIs? And what will this mean to you? And then we go into a ritualistic space where we talk about this and then we play out another fun game which is uh, what do you like from making out to making love? Mm. And one person says what they like and the other person listens and acts it out and then they have to embody it and then, then you switch. Uh, and then if the relationship shifts into something else, i.e. a conscious breakup, you have the relationship uh, ritual, which is where you express gratitude, you bring back your own exp um, energetic cause, and you say, what's mine is mine, what's yours is yours, I release you. This is all in my link below. <laughs> uh, this is a whole another topic on how to have a, a very beautiful, transparent communication and relationships with, with one partner or multiple partners. Um, it works on all levels of um, intimacy and connection. Mm. So, thank you very much. Mm. And we're going to come back with a few more <laughs> principles to your sacred sexual awakening. New book coming out um, in uh, What is Tantra? Link below. Mwah! Love you. Go love yourself. <laughs>